I got a few requests on my last video to do a video on how to grow out your nails and how to like keep them strong and stuff. So I already had a video like this planned, but I thought I would go ahead and bump it up and make it my next video so that you guys wouldn't have to wait so long to see something that you really want to see. In this video, I'm just going to share some little tips and tricks that I've learned along the way and how to grow out your nails and keep them strong and keep them from breaking. Okay, so the first tip that I have is pretty simple. Um, it's don't take showers with bare nails. Um, your nails are really weak when they're wet and your hair is kind of sharp. Like if you really think about it, when your nail is wet and it's soft, um, your hair can slice right through it. So by wearing polish in the shower, even if like you just slap on like a really quick clear coat, um, it's going to help protect your nails from getting those tiny little side splits that are so annoying and make you basically have to nubbinize or cause painful tears. Tying along right with that is always keep your nails polished. Um, there's a lot of rumors that like you have to keep your nails like unpolished for a certain number of days to like let them breathe. Um, your nails don't breathe, so you don't really need to do that. Um, if you're having problems with staining your nails or if your nails are getting brittle, you need to be using base coat and probably a nail strengthener. Um, nail polish does wear on your nails, but most of the time it keeps your nails a lot stronger than they are in their natural state. Speaking of strengthener, that is another tip that I have for you. I use OPI Nail Envy, and the key to strengthener is that you don't want to use it too much. Use it pretty much like every other manicure or every couple manicures when you need it. Um, but you can over harden your nails, which can lead to being like brittle and cracking or breaking, and those are not fun either. Um, so don't overdo it on the strengthener, but if you're like me and you have some problems with peeling, um, definitely use it. It helps. Like, I had peeling really bad on my nails, and I started using OPI Nail Envy, and I haven't had peeling, which is awesome. Going right along with peeling is don't pick at polish that you're wearing that is chipping or peeling or anything like that, because with every little chip that you pull off, you're pulling off part of your nail. And that damage, like, might not show up right away, but it's definitely going to show up, like, when the nail grows out and it gets to, like, the end, and you're going to have, like, the layers of nails separating and essentially what we call like peelies. Another tip to prevent peelies is don't clip your nails, file them. Um, if you're taking down a ton of length, like right now my nails go past my fingertips, if I wanted to nubbinize, um, my nails still aren't long enough. I would file down the length. I would use an emery, an emery board first and then go in with a glass file to like refine the shape. But if you're taking down, like, if your nails are, like, super long or, well, no, whoa, not that long, but, like, really long and you want to make them nubbins or something, you can go ahead and clip on the excess and then file them down into shape. But don't clip your nails on the regular because clipping your nails is essentially, like, tearing and splitting the layers apart. It's basically kind of like trying to cut a piece of paper with blunt scissors. When you snip at the paper, the paper just twists. It doesn't cut. And the same thing happens with your nails. Nail clippers are not very sharp, so they're essentially splitting and tearing the nail apart rather than like giving it a clean clip. And that's why filing is a lot better. It keeps the layers of the nails together and it's going to make your nails stronger in the long run. And even if your nails are strong, you don't want to use them as tools. That's a big tip that I have for you. The better you treat your nails, the better they're going to like be in the long run because you don't want to create fractures or breaks or anything like that. Um, so like if you're opening a can of soda, open it with like a butter knife or a key or something like that or have somebody else open it for you. Don't abuse your nails because... I mean, come on. If you want your nails to look nice, that's common sense. Don't abuse them. Another tip I have for you is to pay attention to your nail shape and find the one that your nail is strongest in. Like my nails, I have always wanted square nails. I tried to make square nails work for so long, but they kept splitting and peeling and breaking on me and they just weren't strong at all. But that's because my nails are strongest in sort of like a rounded oval shape. That's just how my nails are. Like that's just the shape that they are strongest in and it really is going to make a difference once you find that shape in your nail strength. And to wrap things up, probably the most important tip I have for you is moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. You really want to take care of your cuticles because they are the roots to your nails and just like you want a healthy scalp to grow nice long hair, you want a really nice healthy cuticle to grow a healthy strong nail. So I use um, Lush Lemony Flutter. You do have to use something other than just plain lotion um, because your cuticles do tend to be dry. You use your hands a lot. So you want to make sure that they are moisturized and that they are taken care of and that they are in good shape. And yeah, those are some pretty easy tips that you can use to help your nails go stronger. 
And if you guys have extra tips or something or you just want to ask me about some advice you heard on growing nails, um, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you or try to provide you with information or a resource that you can use to get more information that I haven't provided in this video. And yeah, I'm really excited. I have 400 subscribers now, which is pretty crazy. A thousand video views. I'm super excited about it. I can't even, you guys just make me really happy. So thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video or you want to see more, just give it a thumbs up and let me know. And if you want to see what is on my nails in this video, I will have the link to the blog post on my blog about these nails um, down in the down bar. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.